We will start our day right at the heart of Germany's political power, the seat of the Parliament of the Federal Republic of Germany. The Reichstag building is a neoclassical building designed by Paul Walnut, and the construction started shortly after German unification in 1871, completed in 1894, and become the seat of the German Empire between 1871 to 1918. The Weimar Republic from 1919 to 1933 until it caught fire under mysterious circumstance. The unused building sustained additional damages on Allied bombing during World War II and the neglect in the post-war eras led to further deterioration. By the 1970s, it has undergone partial restorations and become a museum of German history. More extensive restoration and renovation took place under the direction of British architect Sir Norman Foster after the reunification of West and East Germany in 1990s. So there's two ways of seeing inside of Bundestag. First is by guided tour, you need at least four to six weeks reservation in advance. The second way is a little bit easier, is if you want to see the dome, you can go across, get the tickets, but get it at least 24 hours in advance to guarantee your admissions because the same day tickets are almost not possible. And by the way, bring your passport. <laughs> the security is tight here, they won't allow you in without it. The building's huge glass dome, once most recognizable feature, was rebuilt. The futuristic and transparent design of the Reichstag dome has a mirror cone to direct sunlight into the building and a view of the debating chamber of Bundestag, both intended to symbolize democracy and Berlin's attempt to move away from paths of Nazism. An interior ramp spiraled to the top of the dome, offering a visitor a 360 degree view of the surrounding Berlin cityscape. After restoration was completed, the Reichstag became one of the Berlin's most prominent tourist attraction, drawing hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. I hope <laughs> you'll have a chance to be one of them. It's really cool. Similar to most Western democracies, here in Germany, there's three branches of government, judicial, legislative, and executive branch. And contrary to popular perception, the office and residence of the Chancellor is not in the Bundestag, it is the building behind me at the Chancellor building. After the German reunification in 1990, the German government moved back to Berlin from Bonn. The Chancellor was temporarily housed in the former GDR State Council building until the Federal Chancery Complex was complete in 2001. Today it is both the official residence and executive office of German Chancellor, as well as the largest government headquarters in the world. Germany has an open attitude when it comes to confronting its history's dark chapter. On the south side of Reichstag and near the Brandenburg Gate, there is a permanent memorial dedicated to the memory of 220,000 to 500,000 city and Roma victims of the Nazi regime. The triangular shape of the stone is in reference to the badges that have to be worn by the concentration camp prisoners. 